In this video, you're gonna learn how to repair any lithium or lipo battery with very simple steps. So hit that subscribe button to be a part of our channel because in our next video, we're gonna build a capacitor cannon. You know, the actual capacitor cannon that is being used in the war. So um, hit that subscribe button to be a part of our channel because if you're not subscribed to the channel, you will miss out. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So, let's start with this swollen LiPo battery. So, what really caused this LiPo battery to get swollen? Well, well that's simple. He ate at McDonald's and that's why he's fat. No, it's a battery. It got overcharged. That's why it's swollen. So, the reason why your LiPo battery is bloated is because you overcharged the battery. And so, by overcharging the battery, this will cause a buildup of flammable gas in the battery, which might explode if you have a flame close to the battery. So, a way to solve this problem is, use a needle to make a tiny hole in the battery. Be sure to do this in a ventilated area. So, remember to not go deep with the needle into the battery to avoid shorting the cells. So, try not to do what I'm doing here with the flame, it's, it's really dangerous. It, it might explode. So, next thing we're gonna do is press on the battery to remove all the gas. And after doing that, we're gonna have to seal the hole with some glue. So, let's move on to the next battery. This is still a LiPo battery that is swollen and has a BMS on it. So the BMS didn't really do its job here by stopping the battery from overcharge. Ah uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, not all BMS are efficient. So this very BMS we have on the battery will cut off if the battery is over discharged or if there's a short on the battery. Well, most BMS will do just more than that. So we do the exact thing we did for the other LiPo battery, just make a hole in the battery and push out the gases and glue the battery. So now that that's done, let's measure the voltage on the battery and see if it actually works. And so guys, as you can see here, we have just zero volts. And guys, that's because we're measuring the voltage on the output of the BMS circuit. So now let's measure the voltage of the battery. And so by peeling this insulation, we're able to expose the terminals of the battery. So now we're going to measure directly on the battery terminals to see if we have a voltage. So as you can see guys, we have 2 volts on the meter. So the BMS cutoff voltage was at 2.76 volts. So now we're going to have to boost the battery. To do this, we're going to need a 3 volt battery. And we're going to hook that up in parallel with the weak battery. So after doing that, we're going to let it sit for a minute or two and then we will discharge the battery. So now we're going to measure the voltage again at the output of the BMS to see if we have anything at all. And so guys, as you can see here, we have a voltage of 3.35 volts. And yes, it was working. So now we're going to fix a dead 18650 lithium iron battery with no voltage at all. So I made a video on how to fix 18650 battery and a couple of people were saying that it's, it's a fake video, it's a scam and all that stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook up the battery uh, to the meter and then we're going to test it at the same time that we're repairing it. And there's going to be no cuts in this very section of this video, of the video. So let's do this. As you can see here, we have absolutely no voltage. So I'm going to do that again. And as you can see, there is no voltage on the battery to show that the battery is dead. So we're going to have to cut off the strip, the metal strip, and then we are going, sorry about that. There is a cut in this very one because I went to go get my scissors. So um, yeah, we're going to cut that out so we can uh, detach the very this very battery from the other one so yeah So now I'm going to hook up a wire to the positive terminal so that we can hook that up to the meter's uh, probe.
and I'm very sorry about this very cut because I uh, had to change the view of the camera so i um, just gonna hook that up to the meter so that I can show you again that there is absolutely no voltage on the battery So here guys, we've hooked up the positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of our multimeter and as well as a negative terminal. So as you can see, we have no voltage on the meter. So now we're going to use a needle to push down on uh, the CID. If you watched my previous video on how I uh, repaired the lithium iron battery, there's what we call a CID on the battery that adjusts itself when the battery is uh, pressurized so we're just gonna push down on that part of the battery we're gonna push down on the rest of the holes and if we do that we're gonna get a voltage so watch the battery and watch the meter as well And so guys, as you can see here, we have a voltage of 2.97 volt to show you that it works and it's not a scam. So, um, yeah, this is going to be it for the video, guys. Um, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. And uh, stay safe and stay creative, guys. Goodbye.